Hi, everyone. This supplemental lecture is just meant to convey one of the more uh, important subtleties from supply and demand analysis and uh, to avoid a constant uh, or a um, common mistake in uh, supply and uh, demand analysis. This mistake is what's called reasoning from a price change where uh, we take a look at a change in price and we then make some uh, claim about quantity supplied, quantity demanded, or a shift in supply or demand. When looking at the law of demand or the law of supply, uh, we say all else held equal, a, a uh, increase in price leads to lower quantity demanded or vice versa. The key phrase there is all else held equal. The only reason why we can say uh, price goes up, quantity demanded goes down, is because we are holding all else held equal. A price change in and of itself does not tell us anything about supply or demand, or quantity supplied or quantity demanded. That is something we need to figure out. That is our job as economists. So, for example, here we have my beautiful drawing of a supply and, de and demand diagram. Let me move it up a little bit. Supply and demand diagram. Now let's say that we empirically witness a fall in price. What does that mean? Well, it would. Uh, one would say, well, a fall in price could mean an increase in quantity demanded. That's what the law of uh, demand tells us. But again, that phrase, all else held equal, comes up. We don't know empirically whether or not all else held, is held equal. All we observe is a change in price. And there are multiple things that could all lead uh, to a fall in price, but does not necessarily lead to an increase or decrease in quantity demanded. For example, a fall in price can be caused by an increase in supply like this. The new price level has fallen. And quantity, uh, equilibrium quantity, and thus quantity supplied and quantity demanded, has increased in the red here. Another thing that could lead to lower quantity, uh, lower price, however, is a decrease in demand, which I'm going to draw for you in a moment. If we have a decrease in demand, demand the demand curve shifts to the left. Then again, we have lower equilibrium price. But we also have a lower equilibrium quantity supplied and quantity demanded, as indicated in the green here. <clears throat> so we want to avoid making the mistake of reasoning from price change. There are lots of things that can, uh, that can cause a price. When all we see is a change in price, we need to ask what's going on. Could be an increase uh, in supply, could be a decrease in demand. Or vice versa, if the price increases, uh, it could be a, a decrease in supply or an increase in demand. All these things have different effects on quantity, on equilibrium, uh, quantity supplied and quantity demanded. Um, so we want to resist the temptation, if we see a change in price, to make any kind of sweeping claims. 